I wish we could have heard the name. They telling on themselves. Just pay attention. <laughs> Just pay attention. They are telling on themselves. Loud and strong, baby. How you treat your wife like your enemy? How you even do that? I don't know what's crazy about Saturday's episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville Sex, Lies, and Videotapes. Is I, I think that's the name of the title. Is A few seasons ago, Letitia Scott... Letitia Denise Scott told us that she needed proof that her husband was cheating. And here it is. It may, you may not like the messenger who's presenting this information to you, right? We know that Kiki is into it with Letitia and Letitia is into it with Kiki. However you want to look at it, they're not friends. They're not cool. They're cousins, but they don't want to fool with each other. But now that we have somebody on the show that has someone that actually had relations with your husband, you don't want any dealings with that person you, i believe season one and season two letitia or letitia and mel was sitting at the table and they were discussing the fact that letitia felt a way about mel not responding to her after the cameras went down she said she felt like she was being a bad friend she didn't check on her when her family passed away etc etc and she also in the same breath asked mel if she felt like something was going on between her and marceau actually it was a um it was some rumors circulating about Marceau around this time. And Letitia asked um, Mel, why didn't she tell him? And to ask Martel to stop lying on Marceau. And Mel said, how do you know that he's lying? How do you know that he's lying? And she said, well, just because your husband is buying BMWs, um, matching BMWs for his side chicks and what have you around town, doesn't mean that Marceau is cheating. And Mel left it at that. She was like, well, maybe you need to get up and roll to the bar and see what's going on with your husband. A picture of Marceau laying in the bed with his back towards the camera. That wasn't enough. Prior to that, he was busted online on Instagram responding to a fan. I'm not quite sure if he was in relations or trying to build up a relationship with this woman. I hope to find that, that picture before I conclude this video. But y'all remember he was on um, the reunion. One of the reunions, they called out the fact that he was responding to people in his DMs. And he asked for a mid-noon or mid-afternoon snack, right? So that's not enough. But now we actually have somebody that's uh, related to the situation, really close to the situation, and knows about Jasmine, the makeup artist, which we talked about on my TikTok. Anthony Lofties broke this tea about three months ago about Letitia's makeup artist, Jasmine, supposedly having relations with uh marceau and the story goes like this and this is all alleged this is all um for entertainment purposes only and if you could so kindly like share and subscribe this content my name is tink marche we cover a variety of topics whatever i'm passionate about or something that i find very interesting we talk about it over here okay including love and marriage transville sake of time i'm going to cover the full show on my tiktok so make sure you go ahead and follow me on there and look for that review to be dropped sometime this week i can't guarantee it'll be out on wednesday or thursday but it will be out to you this week okay wow now the makeup artist jasmine um, Jasmine is Letitia's makeup artist that supposedly had this threesome with Marceau, but a while for a minute now, Jasmine has been sending shots Kiki's way. She first started with this. She said, if you came to the reunion with a sideways box braid bob, please don't mention my name, right? The only person that I seen with a sideways bob is Kiki Jabbar. Anthony Lofties for capturing that because that I didn't even see that. But I did see another um, post that she made, which is what me and Kiki talked about in her live. I'm not quite sure why Jasmine keep coming at Kiki. Maybe it's because she's exposing the fact that she actually had relations with Marceau allegedly. But I also caught another story of hers on Instagram. It's so interesting because like I say all the time. If you let a person talk long enough, they'll tell you exactly what they want you to hear. So this is another thing that she posted, um, Jasmine. She said, consider the source. What do patients take methadone for? And then she put at the bottom, you needing drugs to get off drugs. Consider the source for this. Jasmine, weren't you just driving under the influence, went to jail, and possibly had controlled substance found during the time of your arrest? That doesn't matter to Letitia because Letitia also has a record. Marceau has a record. Maurice has a record. Martel has a record. Martel's brother got a record. They got so many records on this show. They should just get together, create a production company, 
so that they can get a record deal. All I feel like Marceau and Letitia and this makeup artist is trying to make it seem as though since Kiki is on methadone to stop um, her opioid addiction that she's not a good source to get this information from. But the got you is this. He only shook the nest, right? So at some point, all of the women that Marceau calls himself cheating with is going to come to the forefront. Speaking of which, I've had so many women, well, I would say two at this point, because it may be others, but it's two that I've caught that has came into my comment section to talk about their escapade with Marceau. Here's one. She said, he is a fucking joke. He and I talked the entire summer of 2017 and 2018. When he was married, he told me a different name and told me he was, that's off right there. But I did send her a DM so she could tell me more. Along with this other woman, I cannot find the other message, but I'm sure I'll, if you give me some time, give me about a week or so, I can find the other message where I was messaging with this woman and stated that he also was um, with her cousin's friend out in Huntsville. So the rumors are there and I, feel, I just feel like, where there's smoke, there's fire. But I feel like Marceau and Letitia, in my opinion, is just like T.I. and Tiny. I feel like they have that type of relationship. Even if Letitia knew for sure that Marceau was cheating on her, she's gonna try her best to reconcile her marriage and do whatever she needs to do to keep it together. Marceau bought you a matching Mercedes like his, and you didn't know that Marceau was married. Can you clear up or state your part on any of those things? Uh, well, I'm not Marceau's mistress, okay? Um, I would never, ever deliberately um, try to um, mess up anyone's marriage, come between um, anyone's family. Um, that's just not me. I would never, ever stand for something like that. Um, of course, um, you know, I can't control what people say. They say what they say. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I am a hardworking woman, okay? I'm very independent, okay? He's never, ever purchased me a Mercedes, okay? I don't know Marceau like that. I know of Marceau, but I don't know Marceau. Is what he does in the street doesn't indirectly or directly affect the family, meaning the kids or the flow of the money inside the household, I don't think she necessarily cares to, to the extent that she will leave him if she find out that any of these accusations are true. How much proof do you need? Three, three years ago, we know that Tasha K did the interview with Ariane, but prior to that, she got a call on live where this woman was detailing another woman he had stepped out with. And it's being alleged that Marceau don't even use his real name. And it makes sense for him not to because he don't have a common name. But again, I feel like Marceau and Letitia have like a T.I. and Tiny uh, relationship. They have an agreement. And maybe she feel more comfortable knowing that he's sleeping with somebody that she's know that's right under her nose rather than somebody she don't know. And continues to say, consider the source, right? to the fact that she's fabricating stories because she's on methadone, but we can say the same thing about you because you just got arrested for a DUI. Are you drunk? And I really wanna know from Jasmine, why should we consider our source with you? We don't even know you. Now for my updated commentary on Stormy Steel, I feel like Stormy Steel and Letitia got together to drag out this storyline between her and her husband because they really don't want to talk about the issues that they're having in court right now. We got to go over the reviews of Stormy Steele's business. We have to do an updated video on Shirley Strawberry and her husband Ernesto Williams. But on your way out, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and make sure you comment below. It's Tink Marche and I'm something like a big deal. Did I say that right? It's connected. Um, boring until the end. What happened at the end? Yeah, cause my husband lied like I always. <laughs> and you dropped the mic about the affair to Mel. Oh, they finally showed that that part. friend over that woman dad some of the makeup artist girl the little girl well child what she say this time now i never see her shots because i don't follow her so the only way i know is when people tell me so i, I don't really know. i don't know why she if she's still going shots i don't know why i told her come see me say it to 
say it to my face. Bye bye. Like seriously. Like say it to my face. Otherwise, don't address me. Shut up talking to me. You my bitch. I want one of my built feet. <laughs> Whoop that little girl. But a shut up while you built. <laughs> don't give me one of them switches off, off the back back there for my wooden tree. <laughs> Take her back to the old school. Uh, has Marcel always been such a manipulative person? What you see is what you get. What you see is what you get, baby. I mean, he can manipulate the, the, uh, People who are easily manipulated. Let me say that. And not the people who got enough sense not to be manipulated. And that's that. So, for the next episode, I know Tisha is your cousin, honey. I've been there and done that. I'm writing a book about family and name only. Keep pushing. I get it. Girl. How are you overall? I'm good. I'm good. I um I had a good week. Busy week, but a good week. And